Rob from Buenos Aires. Today we are visiting a neighborhood called La Boca and it's known for its very colorful buildings and it's actually very touristy which means the prices here are quite high. Yeah, we just got absolutely fleeced for lunch. It's one of the most expensive meals we've had in South America and it was, to be honest, disgusting. But you know what? We got charged one price for pasta and then like an extra five dollars for the tomato sauce. And then they that charged us. The they were, we were with my parents and they charged us like what, like almost fifteen dollars for service. It was outrageous. Anyways, we're gonna make the most of this afternoon and forget about that awful meal. Let's forget the meal and go sightseeing. <laughs> This tree has a knit sweater. So to tell you a little bit about the neighborhood, it was settled by Italian immigrants and this area is in the southeast end of the city and it's right at the mouth of the river and that's how Boca gets its name. Boca means mouth. Um, and yeah, there are a few streets that are very touristy. However, if you wander away from Caminito in that general area, it's a little rough around the edges. So we're gonna try and show you both sides, touristy Boca and regular old Boca. touristy boca, lots of restaurants, you can watch tango shows on the street. Yes, you can pose and pretend to be a tango dancer. Yes, you can pose with football players who yes. look like famous football <laughs> like players. Like there's a guy who looks like Maradona, he even has a beer belly just like him. Impressive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you can also buy souvenirs, there's a flea market around here and also just lots of souvenirs. shops. And you can shops. lighten the load of your wallet, it's a great yeah. place to do that. You don't really follow football, but can you tell us who you're standing next to? I don't follow football, but I know enough that is Maradona. Mm, one and only. Maradona! Little anecdote for us? Yes, one of the funniest comments we've had on our YouTube channel recently was during our Cholitas wrestling match. Someone said the referee looked just like Maradona, and now <laughs> that I'm seeing Maradona statues all over the place and That's very impersonators, true. that was a very, very clever observation. He did yes, really he totally did. did. He totally looked like Maradona. <laughs> Now for a spin around less touristy Boca. No yeah. crowds here, it's a lot quieter. A lot quieter, we're just walking along the rail tracks. We're actually heading towards the stadium. Yes, because football is a big deal here. This is where Boca Juniors comes from. And ooh, they love their football. Yes, they do. Boca to meet Messi, number 10. So for the hardcore football fans, another cool thing you can do in Buenos Aires is visit the Boca Junior Stadium. It's called La Bombonera and that means the chocolate box. I don't really think it looks like a chocolate box. I mean, it's this giant A colorful stadium. chocolate box. But yeah, it's right over there. So let's go check it out. thoughts Boca Boca okay I've been to Boca once before and I think one visit is probably enough I mean once you've seen the touristy bits there isn't a whole lot to do in my opinion um, so yeah nice for like a half day visit I'd say maybe have a meal but not in the main road or you'll get ripped off a one-time only deal one time only. I one agree with enough. I totally agree with you yeah yeah okay good